grand final of 2012. Sitting with uh, Melbourne Storm coach Craig Belly. How are you, champ? Yeah, I'm going good, Paddy. Yourself? That's good. Done a bit of research. <laughs> you, um, you did play in the 1990 grand final. Yeah, that, that's one moment I quite cherish. I, I reckon that's probably been the proudest moment I've ever had in footy, to be quite honest. Is that right, mate? Mm. So you've won all these comps as a coach, yet you think of that one, 1990. I got more out of winning the comp as a player than I, I did as a coach, to be quite honest. I think, um, you know, I think just being out there and taking the knocks and getting dirty or whatever, yeah. and, you know, the coaches sitting up in the box. I know, you know, we all work hard as coaches too, and we've got some influence on it. But um, certainly, uh, you know, being out there on the field and, and playing the grand final inside was, uh, you know, the highlight for me. The young and the brave the and a proud Craig Bellamy. He took over occasionally when Wayne had State of Origin jerseys, including one famous game where uh, the Broncos Babes beat the Tigers one yeah. night. As soon as that happened, and. Um, for whatever reason. Phone started to ring? Well, you know, again, the, the, the media got on it, you know, the Bellamy and the baby Broncos, and all of a sudden, it, you know, yeah, I, you know, I got off off the West Tigers, you know, not looking about a month after that, and, and then obviously, you know, it's, it's a job here, so uh, it, it's like I say, and, and I really believe this, you know, if, if Wayne had to come back and coach that night and had stayed in Origin, I'd probably be still yeah. assistant coach of the Broncos. You had the preseason 2002, 2003, your very first game, you played Cronulla. Uh, in your team, you've got Billy Slater making yeah. his debut, yeah, yeah. and Cameron Smith is now playing hooker, yeah. and you win 36-32. Were you, how were your nerves before that game? After 20 minutes, we were down 22-0. And uh, I, I sort of remember sitting, <laughs> that, sit, sitting in that box thinking, this game's finished, so there'll be a one-way ticket back to, to Brisbane <laughs> for me. Let's move forward to the 2010, the drama, of course, the salary yeah. cap. Yeah. You, you know, the whole team must have been devastated. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we did, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, was there anyone in particular? I heard that Cameron Smith especially took it hard. Um, I can just remember, you know, some, obviously, some shocked faces. And I just remember, you know, Cameron had a couple of tears in his eyes. And, you know, I sort of lost it a bit myself then, I think. It was, uh, it was a, long, a tough time for a long time. You know, it just wasn't there for a week or two weeks or three weeks. It was, you know, obviously the, uh, the punishments um, of losing premierships was real tough. But, you know, Playing for 20 weeks for no points was uh, yeah, I mean, that was seriously. Uh, how did you do that? How did you get your players up every week yeah. to play virtually for nothing? I just felt that you know we'd go to meetings and no one wasn't really listening, and we're going to train and no one really wanted to train. And after about a month of that, I I sort of basically had, had enough to be quite honest. You know, I didn't want to go through not having a go or not preparing properly, that, that that was what I was used to and that's what I wanted to keep doing. You know, the fans were still to turn up, you know, we still had a few sponsors on board. So and the one thing we'd always done is, you know, go out there and play for each other. Well one thing I do remember, you know, because obviously we had to get rid of fourteen players or whatever it was, you know, or was it? And I don't think I, I can't actually remember, I might be wrong here, I, I can't actually remember having to go to a player and say, hey, listen, you you've got to go. They all sort of they all sort of went themselves to be quite honest and it was just every it was like after every game the last six or eight games there was someone getting up in front of the group saying you know, you know we love playing with you and unfortunately I'm going to such and such you know and I remember that was one that was I used to dread after every game because you know, he's leaving now type of thing you know so I was real proud of the way everyone at the club you know got through it because uh, it was horrible. You're well known for your blow ups in the box <laughs> I mean it's gold television. Yeah. I mean, when you look back at that, you watch the games on tape. When you look back at it, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, I'm embarrassed. Yeah. You know, sometimes you're there watching the game from last night, and then all of a sudden you come up doing you know, something childish or stupid like I do, um, or look, looking, you know, silly. Um, you know, I, I used to get really embarrassed about that. And but like I say, I don't sort of worry about it too much now. If uh, that's who I am, and you guys want to show up, we're well, off you go. What about uh, half-time sprays? Can you remember one where you've just gone off deluxe? I, I, I do remember one where, you know, it sort of made me realise how old I was and uh, perhaps I needed to settle down a bit. It was last year against the Gold Coast and I sort of lost it a bit uh, during that half-time. And uh, I remember thinking after the game, like, my head was like, it, it was just like it was, it was furry and it took me about two days to get over it. So I don't know whether I... Um, there was a little vein or something in it, but I, <laughs> so I haven't sort of been that uh, animated you know, since the half time. But uh, you know, I don't know if that was any worse.
worse than some of the others, or, or didn't. I, I spoke to Ryan Hoffman the other day. He said, you've got to ask Craig. He said, the boys are keen for you to grow back your mullet. <laughs> you had in the They're very keen for you. Is there any chance you can bring it back? No, I don't think I could. Uh, no, not, not the mullet. No, it, was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was quite a good one, I back in the 80s. It was yeah. pretty good. It was long. Yeah, but hopefully you're going to be back there at one stage. What do you do in your spare, if you have spare time, what do you do? Yeah. What do you like to do? I like to have a game of golf in, in the summer, as you know, Pete. I've had the pleasure of playing a few a couple of times, which has been great. But uh, I did play with you once, and yeah. I've got to say that the koalas in the trees, they were sort of <laughs> waving white flags in the end. You, you do spray, I mean, you've got a lovely golf swing on yeah, you, but you do spray them a bit. Yeah, I, you know, I'd heard about your uh, reputation as a golfer as well, and uh, I was, uh, you know, hugely impressed. Uh, anyone's got any doubts about your golf prowess, don't, because you are a champion. Tell me something that no one knows about you. Oh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't think, I don't think most things about me are, are pretty well known, I think. I know something. Yeah, I found out something. What's You're that? an electrician. Oh, yeah, I am an electrician, yeah, by trade. A, a very ordinary one, too, I might say. Uh, so if, if there's a problem in this house, well, when do you ring electrician? Or yes, do no. you, 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 don't, you oh, can't do it? No, listen, you know, it's a real simple thing I, I can do. It's easy. A bit more technical than you can. You've got timers and all that sort of stuff. All the way around in my day. <laughs> You're 55 in October on the third. Yep. Ha um, can you put a timeline on your coaching career or not? Yep. I, when I finish this contract, it'll be another three years ago after this year. So I don't see myself going, you know, any longer. Why? Than that. Why? Why not? Oh, I just think, um, yeah, it'll be time for someone else to take over here, and uh, I, you know, I don't think I'll. I wouldn't really be coaching anywhere else. I'd like to think I'd still be involved in the game somehow, but certainly not as a head coach, I don't think so. When, you, when you're done and dusted, you're sitting back in a rocking chair, thinking about it all, how do you want to be remembered? I'd like to be remembered as I'd like to remember my players. You know, they got the best out of themselves by, by working hard and, and you know, working smart and, and doing the best they, they could, you know. I just... Uh, I like to think that uh, you know, I give myself the best chance to be the best coach I could be and um, hopefully you know, I've done that.